Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to use Powerbin in DaVinci Resolve to speed up your workflow. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, and I'm gonna share with you how to use Powerbin. It's a question that I get from a subscriber. Uh, he sent me an email and asked me to basically talk about Powerbin, how I use them uh, and what you can do with them. So Powerbin gonna be around here, but by default, it's not activated. You need to go over here in view, scroll down, and here you need to click on show power pins. As soon as you've done that, here you're gonna have this popping up and here you're gonna be able to just use them. By default, you're not gonna have anything. You're just gonna have master right here, but here me, I have my different section. So what power bin are essentially, it's a possibility for you to have your library, your asset library, right in DaVinci Resolve available from any of your project. So basically this power bin gonna be available in any project in DaVinci Resolve. So right now I'm on an untitled project. If I were to just uh, open any other project, let's go with this one, which was a test, for example. As you can see, it's a new project, completely different. It was like a test uh, project that we've done for a pack. Here we have the power bin uh, still there and we'll be able to just drag media in the timeline. So I'm just going back to that project right here. So what can you add in Power Bin? Uh, basically any piece of media that you want. Uh, it can be audio, it can be video, it can be images, uh, it can be uh, also fusion titles as well. Uh, I'm gonna share with you all the different alternatives. So basically, how do you structure it? It's very, very simple. You can just open your Finder if you're on Mac or any other Windows to search for folder if you are on Windows. So now how to use it? So, so I'm just gonna delete those two right here so we can start from scratch and do it together. So here, I'm just gonna remove my two bins. Here we go, and now we're starting fresh. So you're gonna want to drag in there any element that you're reusing across project, uh, any library of asset that you're using on a regular basis, uh, or that you could use uh, on any sort of project. So me, usually I have those uh, already prepared here in Creative Tools. It's like a folder structure that I have with my video overlays, with my sound, with my photo overlay, design, etc., etc. So I have already a folder structure done. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you're on Mac or Windows, just, you know, you have your folder structure here on video overlay. For example, I have fire and explosion. I have some explosion. I have some fire um, video effect. I have some futuristic effect, etc., etc. Those are video clip uh, so dot move clip right here if I play it for example that's a clip that I use uh, sometimes uh, then you could have like some overlay of fire uh, some overlay of rain etc etc I have also for example here music that's another piece of media so sound effects I usually bring also all my sound effects in here because you can do it here in a fair light for the sound effects. You can have it here in your sound library, but in my opinion, it is not as easy to search because here you just need to use that search bar uh, and you cannot just uh, look into the folder. And depending on what I'm looking for, sometimes I'm just making a search here in Fairlight for my sounds, or I'm just uh, going here directly in my power bin uh, to look for the specific folder where I know a certain sound is. So that's another thing. So video, sound, photo overlay, for example, or images that I might use on a regular basis. Can be, for example, here, photo negative matte. So that's something that I will use on a bunch of different projects uh, and I know I'm gonna use over and over again. So I'm just basically having that right there so I can just drag it and drop it in my timeline. Also pre-made animation, pre-render animation, uh, any SVG or design. And the last one is fusion title. And that's the very cool part is that here, if we go over to effect, for example, let's say I want to use that. I'm just gonna drag it here in my timeline. But here, instead of having uh, DaVinci Resolve, I want the title to say video editor studio by default and i know i'm gonna reuse it over and over again so instead of every time i have to reuse it just dragging that here in the timeline changing the text making any small adjustment that i may need to do now i've done it once 
and I can just close here effect. And here in my power bin, I can just create a new folder. So here I'm gonna just right click and click on new bin. I'm gonna write title on it. And then here I'm just gonna double click and I'm gonna drag that here in my title power bin. What that does now essentially is that I can basically take that drag it in my timeline and it retains all the modification that I've done to it. So you don't have to go from scratch here in effect and do that all over again. You've done it once, you've adapted the title that you may have downloaded for us or from any other like third party uh, plugging service. And then you make your own tweak and modification to that title and then you can just save it in your power bin and you can just drag it and drop it easily without to have to make any further modification. And again, that is a cross project. That means that if you move now to another project, we're gonna do the same again. I'm gonna go here to another test project. For example, I'm opening a new project as you can see here. I'm gonna just delete that, whatever it is. And here, if I go in my power bin to title and I drag that, as you can see, I retain the all the information that uh, I've saved. So here it's Video Editor Studio instead of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, and if we were to make, again, further modification here, I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna go with red and uh, white, for example. That's the modification that I choose to do. Now I can just take it and drag it here in my power bin as well. Make sure to delete the old one. And uh, if I'm going back to the initial project that you were in, here we go. And I'm go to title. And then I just bring that new one in. As you can see, it retained all the information that we modify on the other project. So that's just a very, very great way to have all your assets in one place and to easy drag and drop anything that you need for your project. Now, how to import stuff in the Power Bin and to have a folder structure. What I would recommend if you have a library of assets like I have right now, uh, you can just create your folder structure externally. So here I have uh, my video overlay. I've just make uh, all my classification uh, depending on, you know, uh, where I've purchased this overlay, uh, depending on the kind of uh, overlay that it is. So here I have all my light clicks and flare, for example, and then you can just drag that entire uh, folder structure. You can just take it and drag it here in master, and then it might take a while depending on how many assets you have in it. And here we go, here in master and I have video overlay and then i have basically my entire folder structure that is organized right here and when i'm looking for anything i can just quickly look for it here i have a couple of glitches i can just bring a glitch uh, 13 here we go and now if i'm playing it here we go i have it and i have it across again all my project which is very very neat same thing here for my sound design i can go over to sound library cinematic sfx i can just take it and drag it here on the side. It might take a while depending on how many assets you have. Uh, that's another question that I had is like how many assets you can have here in Power Beans and I haven't experienced any limitation on that. Uh, to give you an idea here in that SFX library I have like over 10,000 uh, different audio uh, on the overlay I have probably like a couple of thousand so there is no limitation in terms of uh, how much you can put in there. The thing also to note is that all that is not stored in your project you're not importing all that in your project which would be the case if you try to do that here in the master instead of power bin if you were to try to bring an entire folder right here in your project your project is going to become very slow and very heavy because you have so much stuff in it that is just basically putting this window here right there on the side that's it. That's essentially what it does. It's just bringing you that folder structure outside of DaVinci Resolve inside of DaVinci Resolve, plus the benefits of, uh, you know, having your Fusion title uh, to be able to be reused right there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but it doesn't take space in a specific project. It's just gonna go look for the piece of media that is stored on your computer or on your hard drive. So that makes the data management way easier, and you're actually using only what is imported in your timeline. I hope this video was helpful and I was able to bring some clarity to Power Beans and how to use them. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.